I hear the ocean. Can you hear it? I must be very close. That's awesome. I can't wait to see it. Andrea from Adventures and Dreams. I may have spoken to you earlier, but I don't know if the audio actually came through. So you may or may not know what I'm doing here. Uh, this is Maine. This is the coast of Maine. I'm going to the uh, Bold Coast Trail and we'll backpack uh, all the way to the coast and find a campsite there. It's kind of late. It's already after six o'clock. Uh, there's not much sunlight left, so I'm gonna hurry up. Uh, it's foggy here, it's kind of chilly, and along the way it was so warm and nice. <laughs> this is what I signed up for, so it should be really quite beautiful at the coast. I saw it very foggy and kind of mysterious looking, so... Well, uh, enough of the chatter, I gotta get going. This time I have just one backpack, but it's filled to the rim. It's really quite heavy actually because I'm taking water for maybe two days. I will probably have to come back and grab more water because uh, I couldn't take it all. This backpack is just too small, 55 liters. And then I have a camera bag that's waterproof. And I have spare water here if I have to come back. And I have an, a Garmin InReach Mini uh, to send messages to my loved ones so they know that I'm okay. So I can send pre-set uh, messages with this, they don't cost me anything. And, uh, you can set up three of them. And so I have one when I start a trip, one when I get to the camp, and then one if I'm delayed for some reason. But uh, let me just send one message send preset and set okay i think that made the noise that it sent and that way, uh, this is working with satellite, and so uh, I have no cellu cellular um, reception here again, as always. <laughs> but this works with satellite, so people know that I'm okay, and uh, it should work always, as long as there's a pretty clear view to the sky.
talking to people at the parking lot and they gave me some good tips and they were here all day and they said it's amazing so worth it to come out here but they were with little kids and so they spent all day out here but they said they traveled about two miles um no one mile per two hours something like that so i think i'm going to camp um, earlier than I wanted right at the coast and then move my camp over a little bit tomorrow oh boy <laughs> very muddy I had known about this ice, I would have brought my my crampon things that I bought in, uh, in Keen Farm near there. This is super slippery. Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> this is not helping my speed. So this trail actually splits up over here and one the one we're taking is going to the coast and then the other one is the loop which is this way and the people uh, earlier said that it's very muddy and wet and icy and the battle trail is directly to the coast which is what I want anyway so onward let's see how long does it take does it say one mile. One mile doesn't sound so bad, does it? All right. I would definitely mark this water as a, a source for later in case I need more water that I don't get enough from the rain. Uh, so I don't have to go all the way to the car, I can actually get it here with my water filter. That would be awesome. I just mark it in Gaia GPS as a water source and uh, that will be super helpful. The trail is very well marked with the blue paint, but um, and it's dark. I don't know how easy that's going to be to see. So I'm just pushing forward. I'm about two thirds of the way to the coast, and uh, and then I just uh, stealth camp <laughs> because there isn't an official campsite over there. It's a little bit further in. We'll see. Pretty dark. It's about 7.30, which is um, when sunset is. That's what the timing was. So I'm just picking my way through water puddles and around trees. But it's beautiful out here. Can't wait to show you guys during the day. I'm definitely just going to the coast and, and then I'll find a spot there. There's no way I'm finding my way in the dark along the coast. My backpack is okay. It's heavy, but it doesn't feel too bad. Even though I'm not really used to that, but I guess I'm all right. Oh. Sorry about the shaky cam. Ooh. All right, I need to put the video away, concentrate on my path, and I'll bring you guys back when I find something cool or when I'm at the end of this. 7.30, I probably have another half an hour or so to go, I think. We'll see. Um, found several water spots, which is cool. Uh, they might not be here in the summer, but right now there's a lot of water, so 
if I run out of it, I definitely have some places to go to without going back to the car. I just walked maybe 10 more minutes since the last time I talked to you, but I hear the ocean. Can you hear it? I must be very close. That's awesome. I can't wait to see it. I can't even describe how crazy this looks. The video is not going to do justice. It looks powerful and crazy. Wow. I can't see the horizon, it's just all fog. And these big waves rolling in. Wow. I'm gonna get my other camera here in a moment, but first I wanna set up my cam, find a place. tent I'm happy to be in it it's uh, very windy outside and very very foggy uh, everything's getting wet um, but it's it's kind of amazing uh, it's powerful like pure nature not this beautiful gorgeous day where most people come out here but kind of this rough rough power <laughs> of nature and I love that and I can't wait to see this tomorrow it's super dark now. I found a good spot that is high. Um, it's elevated, but still flat. So if it does rain, I don't get um, water puddles, hopefully. It should just uh, go down the trail and not up here. The tent's doing all right. It's my North Face tent, my free season tent. It's holding up all right with the wind. I hope there aren't any dead trees around. <laughs> Uh, I looked around and it didn't look too bad, but I really didn't have a lot of options. Well, I'm gonna get up, uh, get my sleep system set up now, and then I'll do some dinner. And sorry about the bright light. I didn't even have room for a tent light <laughs> this time. I was completely packed to the rim. So my uh, headlamp will have to do this time, at least for the night shots. For the small uh, canister this time because it fits right into this top part here, which is pretty cool. And it's done already. I just hung up my bear bag. The first one ever. I never had to use it before. Everywhere I camped it was safe to have the food in the car. But here I don't know. So I have a reflective line and tied it to the tree here. And I'm pretty happy with it. And to find my camp again, I put a little light on my tent. Yeah, let me turn off my headlamp. Maybe you can see it. There. <laughs> because it's so foggy, I wanted to make sure I can find my camp again. Um, I didn't wander off too far uh, for the bear bag. So. so yeah, pretty cool. But now I'm ready to go to bed. Um, I'll catch you guys again in the tent for sure. It's hard to show you the tent in the dark. I'll show you a little bit more tomorrow when I have it set up during the day. But uh, I love this tent. It feels very big. It feels actually bigger than the Namash 2 GT, my uh, four season tent. Even though the space itself, the footprint, is smaller. I don't know if you can see 
the wind rattling the tent. You can probably hear it. You can hear the ocean and you can hear the wind. It hasn't started raining yet, but it's so moist. It's just all fog. It's basically like very fine rain constantly hitting the tent and everything around it. Everything's damp. see this towel over there. The moisture was, was actually coming into the uh, ventilation and I put the towel there so nothing gets wet in here. It's just like this mist coming in. It's crazy. But it's pretty windy. I'm trying to find a good light that works where you can see me. And it's not blinding me. <laughs> well, it's been a great day, a great first day so far. Um, oh, the light is horrible. Uh, yeah, it's been a great first day. The hike was amazing. It took only a little bit over an hour, so that's good. And uh, it was just gorgeous. All the moss everywhere, the trees that had fallen down over time the water and now here the ocean and it's just so strange to see the ocean without the horizon it just goes out into nothing it feels really odd <laughs> almost like a treasure island I don't know <laughs> but I can't wait to see it tomorrow during the day and hike uh, a little bit further and go to an actual campsite Today I'm going to just go into the sleeping bag. It's been a long day. I've, I got up uh, before 6 o'clock this morning. It's now after 9 o'clock. Maybe almost 10 by now. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, I'll just go from there tomorrow. Yeah, have a good night everyone. And I see you in the morning. morning guys it's almost six o'clock and it's started raining a little bit I think you can hear it maybe <laughs> it probably sounds the same as last night actually don't know for sure um, it's not quite as windy anymore but still a good bit uh, one side of my tent here got pretty wet actually the wind just drove the moisture or uh, yeah I guess the, the fog in also from the little window that uh, the towel was covering the towel moved a little bit and so one one side here is a bit wet and uh, the mesh door is very wet <laughs> and now I wish I had two towels because <laughs> one's wet from just sitting in the window there <laughs> that's okay That is what you get when you have an all mesh tent. <laughs> it's super lightweight and small. But in weather like this, it just captures all the moisture in the air. It's crazy. I haven't had this uh, at all. I used this tent for two years now. It has never happened before. But I guess these are extraordinary conditions here today. It's about 6.30. I can't sleep anymore. So I'm going to get up, get my bear bag, and get some breakfast started. I don't want to get out of the tent. It's so nice here. <laughs> No, but I have to see the ocean. I can't wait.
got my bear bag. Everything was still okay. It just looks incredible out there. I showed you a couple of things maybe by now. But it's time for breakfast. It's about 8.30 maybe by now. Yeah, time for breakfast and then pack everything up. So, you know what I eat, it's the usual. Um, oats, they're easy to make and they're hot. Probably too much. I tell you what, the tent's going to be a lot heavier with all the rain. That's going to be fun. It was already pretty heavy to begin with. Oh no, the, the bag's not holding up like it did. Leaking. I think. Oh no. Something was dripping. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> this is the first trip that's not in winter for me this year. I've done a lot of winter camping in the last season, which is cool. But now I'm ready for the spring and the drive was so amazing. I wish it had already been green. So I, I will have to come back at some point because it was just so beautiful. I bet I'll be the only one out here today. Yesterday the family was brave. It was um, two kids and mom and dad. And they took an all-day hike out here in this weather, which is awesome. I think that's amazing. So maybe some people will come to this point here. This is the first spot you can see the ocean. But probably very few will actually venture out further like I will. All right, well, let me finish my breakfast. I'll bring you guys back. I hope the wind noise isn't too bad. I didn't connect my microphone this time to not get it wet right now. But I'm about to head out. I got my tent packed up and it actually fits in the backpack on the top. And I put it in my waterproof day pack so I don't get the stuff inside my works. I was hoping to use a day pack to keep things dry from the outside, but I guess it works the other way around too. But uh, I just checked the ocean again. It's just mind-blowing how uh, the waves, how big the waves are, how much fog there is. It's just beautiful. Oh, you've got a water drop. This is an adventure. This is a real adventure. Uh, I've done all the winter camping and it was amazing, but this is uh, this is just crazy. So uh, I'm glad I came out here in, uh, for several days too. So uh, try to keep you posted. And now I'm just heading out and see what else awaits me out there. I'm going to be going all along the coast now, so I'm going to see a lot of beautiful.
it's raining quite a bit now. Wow. It's okay. I'm I have the gear for it. And I'm just continuing on along the coast. I can't see the ocean at all. I can just hear it. But it's beautiful. It's just going up and down rocky places and um, moss everywhere, old trees. It's really quite cool. What a weather to go camping, huh? That's why I'm the only one out here. <laughs> no, I love it. I really do. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I hope you're enjoying this adventure so far with me. You're watching it from the comfort of your home, maybe, or at the office. <laughs> but maybe I can encourage you to do these kind of things too. Just you've got to be sure to be safe tell people where you are. Um, I tried my inReach um, mini, uh, this guy here, but right now it actually doesn't have any uh, satellite reception at all because of the rain and the, the clouds. So hopefully I'll get that back later on so I can tell people that I'm okay. All right, well, I have to go, go down a steep hill now. Hopefully I won't slip and slide. I'll catch up with you guys. speechless guys this is so amazing here the raw power of the ocean and the waves I just don't know what to say I'm so glad I came out here and I haven't seen it at all yet so <laughs> well uh, I think the trail continues and at some point I think it leads down to the ocean uh, <laughs> we'll see if that actually works because the waves are crazy so um, I think I'm about halfway to a point where the, the campsite is supposed to be. What's going on here? Huh. I have no idea. It looks too smooth to be from an animal, but I could be wrong. There's one there, and there are several over there, huh. very strange. You guys have any idea? Let me know. Just went through this tree here. That 
was really hard. <laughs> I found my camping place for the night, uh, maybe two nights. I didn't make it all the way to the uh, dedicated camping. It's probably still very far and it's very hard going up and down the rocks, very slippery through water. It's taken me a long time and uh, I have to think about uh, Monday and coming back all the way to the car and then driving eight hours. And so I don't want to walk too far and then still drive all, all night or something. 
So I found a pretty cool place here that's um, kind of uh, secluded. It's protected from the wind. Doesn't have any trees that could fall on me and I'll show you here in a moment. I just came from this little opening there. Um, that's where the path is and just came through here. And there's a nice little open spot. It's not totally even, but my tent is very small. So uh, compared to the Nomage 2 GT, which would have a hard time fitting here. But my little one is all right. And the trees are, everything is looking good. It's raining again, but the wind is okay now. That's why I love the Hilleberg so much because you put it together even when it rains everything is already together but here I now have water puddles in my tent because you have to put them up separately I'm waiting for my food to finish it should be another couple of minutes or so but in the meantime I want to hang up a line in here in this tent. I don't know if anything would actually dry in these conditions, probably not, but at least I get it off of the floor and out of my way. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do a whole lot more today. Uh, it was a strenuous hike, even though it was kind of short, two hours only, but uh, I have all day tomorrow to explore, so I just want to uh, eat some food and warm up a little bit and hang out. We'll see. It's a cold and rainy weekend over here in Maine. <laughs> That's okay. Gotta love this weather just the same as the sunny weather and the snowy weather and the stormy weather. I love it all. So everything is an adventure to me. Adventures and dreams. <laughs> so I just have these super lightweight clips that close on both sides. The very thin line here. And I have three points where I always clip them into. Which is hard one-handed. This one. The other one goes right there.
And there it is. Three points. And I hung my towel here. I had to wring it out many times already. But I'm glad I brought it. I always have a towel. No matter what the season is. Well, I took a nice nap uh, in the afternoon and it was it was amazing. It kept raining and then it stopped. But as I was looking for a place to hang my uh, food bag, I found this really cool, rocky, mossy outcropping here. Check this out. Isn't that amazing? And you see this, uh, this turf pile there is an anthill. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, so there's a lot of rock here and these cool moss piles that are amazing. It just goes on for a while. And the end hill. And I think something tried to dig around in it also looks like bigger holes very cool such a cool location I think someone made a little bushcraft shelter here they're all snapped off here from the tree It's a nice little place. My dinner choice for tonight. I've never had this brand before, so we'll see. Uh, it takes 20 minutes, which is sad. It takes a long time. But it's a classic pasta. We'll see.
I was thinking about eating in the tent, making everything there, but now I'm so glad that I came out here and just stayed here. It's so beautiful. It stopped raining a few hours ago now, so it's just foggy. Uh, there's no wind at all now, so it feels really good actually. It's just so nice to come out here during a time when it's not normal, when it's not sunny and warm, but, but a little bit more crazy. <laughs> no. Yeah, I feel all alone. I am all alone here, so it's quite, quite special. I highly encourage you guys to do that too. I was trying to think of a story to tell you that is kind of related to this, but I honestly couldn't think of anything because this is so unique. I've never camped in a setting like this before with weather like this. This is a new chapter for me, a good one. I think I'm going to call it for tonight. It's about nine o'clock and there's not much else to do. I can't make a fire because it's not allowed and everything is soaking wet anyway. So uh, I'm just gonna go to bed. Everything is soaking wet in here from the moisture. It just doesn't dry at all. There's no more wind, unfortunately. The wind was helping a little bit. But this day was magical, wasn't it? Day two of my adventure. The waves, the, uh, the, the fog. It was just awesome. Can't wait to see what tomorrow brings and how far those campsites are. I guess we'll find out. But uh, have a good night, everyone. If something cool happens, I'll bring you back, but I actually don't expect anything. No more wind, no more rain, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, good night, guys. <laughs>